Welcome to a Motown edition of News OK TV. <laughs> Apparently it's craziness going on in the studio. I'm Dave Morris. <laughs> and I'm Angie Bruss. It is Tuesday, April 17th, 2012. Thanks so much for joining us. All right, on a sad note, the LA Clippers beat the Thunder for a second time in a week. That's right, Oklahoma City left the Staples Center after a 92-77 loss. It happened Monday night. The Clippers now claim the season series three games to one. Thunder travels to Phoenix Wednesday night for a matchup against the Suns and then is on to Sacramento to play the Kings on Friday. Back to Los Angeles, they face the Lakers Sunday afternoon. Now the games against Phoenix and Sacramento will air on Fox Sports Oklahoma. The matchup against the Lakers can be seen on ABC. OSU football legend Barry Sanders appears on the cover of EA Sports NCAA Football 13 alongside Robert Griffin III. Fans voted on Sanders over the likes of Herschel Walker, Andre War, and Eddie George. Sanders is the second former Cowboy athlete to be voted on the cover of an EA Sports video game. It should be a beautiful spring day in Oklahoma on Tuesday. Expect highs in the mid-70s, lows in the 50s. Temperatures could reach 80 by Wednesday. The warm weather may not last long. A cold front expected to move through the region on Thursday afternoon. And along with that, scattered showers and storms could develop near the front. There is potential for severe storms with large hail. Well, the state insurance department is warning Oklahomans to be wary of fraud in the wake of storms. Officials with the state attorney general's office are also offering tips for searching for a contractor to help with storm repairs. First, ask people you trust for referrals and, when possible, deal with local firms. You should also check on the company's record by checking with Better Business Bureau or Attorney General's Public Protection Unit. Another important tip, get all guarantees, warranties, and promises in writing. You can find more helpful hints on our website newsok.com. Well, Oklahoma City is offering down payment assistance for qualifying people interested in buying a home. The city is offering up to $10,000 for potential buyers looking for property in the city's core. Officials hope the program will help property values in struggling neighborhoods. Transit alternatives are opening up for Oklahoma City's downtown residents. A streetcar system is in the works for the Metro as part of MAPS 3. It will connect the Central Business District, Bricktown, Automobile Alley, Deep Deuce, and Midtown. There are even discussions about connecting the rail system to surrounding communities. In addition, downtown is set to get green parking. The system allows owners of electric cars to plug in along the curb. Two recharging stations are set to be built later this year. Pike Pass customers who still have the old tags need to turn in the devices for the new tags. The Oklahoma Turnpike Authority will send out a fourth and final notice warning customers the old units will be deactivated. Customers will have 10 days to respond to the final notices. Oklahoma City's Heart Walk is this weekend. The annual fundraiser for the American Heart Association begins at 8 a.m. on Saturday at the Bricktown Ballpark. About 7,500 walkers are expected to participate in the local event. The number could be even bigger if the weather is nice. And the weather has been nice so far this week. Man, you talk about a gorgeous spring day today. I know. Lack of wind. If you ever come to the Oklahoman building, it is the windiest place yeah. in America outside the front door. There's somehow this like wind vortex. I don't know what it is in front of our building, and it's crazy. We Everybody's should, hair is like. <laughs> it blows my hair. Yeah. It just messes it up every time I walk out there. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for this edition of News OK TV. All the stories and videos we mentioned can be found online at NewsOK.com. See ya.